This is a broadcast of SmallCapVoice.com, a financial communications and investor relations firm. SmallCapVoice.com receives payment for investor relations and financial consulting services that it provides to its clients. You should assume that officers, directors, and employees of SmallCapVoice.com or financial analysts mentioned and their families hold a position and intend to trade in these securities for their own accounts. This is not an offer or recommendation to buy or sell securities. Information in this broadcast is presented solely for informative purposes and is not intended to be nor should it be construed as investment advice. As in all investments, an investment in a featured company carries an investment risk. Listeners should review the company thoroughly with a registered investment advisor or registered stockbroker. This broadcast does not purport to be a complete study of the featured company or other companies mentioned. Information used and statements of fact have been obtained from the featured company and other sources but not verified nor guaranteed by smallcapvoice.com as to completeness or accuracy. Such information is subject to change without notice. You're wired in smallcapvoice.com. Following is a presentation of smallcapvoice.com, today's leader in investor relations, capital formation, and retail support. Now, with your online business briefing, smallcapvoice.com's Stuart T. Smith. Welcome one, welcome all to this online business briefing brought to you by smallcapvoice.com. And as you just heard, I'm your host, Stuart Smith. And we're welcoming to the show for the very first time, FBC Holding Incorporated. They're traded under the ticker symbol FBCD. And we're lucky enough to be joined by the chief executive officer for the company, Frank Russo. Frank, how are you doing today? Not bad, not bad, Stuart. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to call in here and speak with us at smallcapvoice.com. Now, your shareholders, of course, know what you and your company do. The listeners to this program may not be so sure. So let's take a step back. Let's learn about FBC Holding Incorporated, which, of course, includes Coco Wamo, as well as Lee Valentine, these lines that you're partnering with. Let's talk about the company. Go ahead, Frank. Okay. Well, basically, we're focused you know, on assisting companies to help them develop and bring their products to market. Usually it's an you know, innovative product. We're not looking to bring something that may already be out there, but we're trying to really bring value to the customer and, uh, you know, give them a product that once they utilize it and use it in their daily lives, they're going to want to keep coming back to it. Excellent. Well, let's talk about two of them specifically. Let's start with Lee Valentine. Let's talk about the relationship, the products, where you see this going in 2015. Okay. Well, we contacted Lee and we had uh, you know numerous meetings with her. And one of the things that we really like to do is you know get to know the per the person himself. And uh, she's just a great, great lady. Her products. You know, she's been in the business since uh, I want to say 1998. She actually started out of her own home, out of her kitchen, actually, making products, beauty products. And people would come up to her and say, hey, Lee, you know, why is your face and your skin looking so incredible? You know, what are you using? And so from there, she sort of spawned out into uh, going into different laboratories and utilizing, you know, state-of-the-art equipment, not that she could find in her, her own kitchen, and uh, began to build some products. Two of the products that she built, one was called a non-surgical facelift kit, and the other was called a firm and lift serum. Those two products over her career have sold over $250 million, uh, which is pretty outstanding, phenomenal, actually, over her, I want to say, maybe 12-plus year career. Um, she was at the QVC. She did over 700 shows um, and was very, very successful there. She uh, decided to go back to the uh, the drawing board and, you know, sort of reformulate the products that she came out with now. Uh, she reintroduced that product line in August. We met her, like, in September, October. We started talking. And uh, now we've uh, partnered up with her, and we're really uh, excited because it's a, it's a whole rebranding play for us and a relaunching of her and uh, what she stands for, for in, in the health and beauty industry. Well, exciting time for us to be speaking with FBC Holding Incorporated. If you want to learn more about Lee Valentine, follow along by going to LeeValentine.com. That's L-E-I-G-H, 
Valentine.com. The Mothership website, FBC Holding Incorporated's website, is fbcd inc.com. Well, let's change gears. Let's talk a little bit about Cocoa Ammo. Similar industry, sort of, you know, uh, for you and your company, it makes a lot of sense. There's synergies between Lee Valentine and Cocoa Ammo. Let's learn about Cocoa Ammo now. Well, with Cocoa Ammo, we're really trying to, as a holding company right now, we're really trying to concentrate in that beauty and wellness area. Um, so when we were introduced to uh, Darian Braun, who is the president and founder of Coco Ammo. Again, he comes to us with, you know, over 25 years in the industry, a very, very well-known and well-connected individual. And that's one of the exciting things that uh, really came across to me was I have an opportunity to work with two professional people who really want to do right and get product into the marketplace. Um, that people will see results on. So with Coco Amo, this is a multiracial uh, hair treatment uh, company, hair care company, rather. And um, the first introduction was with the Love Leave-In Conditioner, which we've gotten great reviews. We've, we've actually delivered product not only in this country, the U.S., but we've had product internationally as well. The other two products that surround the uh, leave-in conditioner were a moisturizing shampoo called Hydrate and a sulfate-free shampoo called Pure. So now we have three products in the line. Uh, we're currently speaking to additional distributors, not only uh, internationally, but uh, one distributor right now that uh, we hope to formulate some sort of uh, relationship over the next few weeks. And they contact or have the ability to reach out to approximately 5,200 uh, over-the-counter retailers. So um, Darian is just a, he's a great personality. It took him, I want to say, 52 formulations. And if anyone knows about formulating a product, it really is a something that you really, truly have to love to do, and he is that person. So we're very excited with the, the recent launch on what's called uh, We Are Onyx, uh, which is a, uh, a website. Uh, we launched our own website, you know, through Coco Amo. So uh, the feedback that we're getting and uh, the orders that the reorders now we're getting are, are it's just fantastic because now people are using it and they're actually coming back and buying it again, which just speaks volumes to the actual product. Learn more about We Are Onyx by visiting the press release that came out November 20th. 2014. Use that ticker symbol again, FBCD. The headline is, FBC and Coco Amo signed contract with national cosmetic distributor, We Are Onyx. Frank also mentioned the website. Now that for Coco Amo is www.coco, that's C-O-C-O, dash Amo, A-M-O, dot com. And again, We Are Onyx dot com. All these links are available, by the way, within these press releases. So all you really need to know, that ticker symbol, FBCD. Well, we've learned about Darian. We've learned about Lee. Now, you're our guest, Frank, so we're excited to learn more about you and your background. Tell us a little bit about your professional career. Well, basically, I've always been in the sales and marketing game, so to speak, and you know, helped uh, companies such as Puma, Majestic, uh, Easton Aluminum, Echelon, Racquetball. So I've always been, I want to say, a, um, an entrepreneur, to speak. That's sort of my strength. Um, I've really helped with product distribution, uh, brand building, you know, analyzing different markets, but more importantly, really implementing a strong, solid business strategy that, uh, you know, you have to sort of execute. So, you know, when this opportunity came along, I knew there was a lot of work to be done, but um, I knew that there was, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel. And with these two companies that we've partnered with over the last, you know, let's say three to four months, um, I couldn't be more excited with the the future because I could see from a product development standpoint, from a reordering standpoint, from the enthusiasm that we're receiving from retailers, um, it's really going to be a very, very interesting 2015. Well, it sounds like a great time for us here at smallcapvoice.com to be speaking with Frank Russo, Chief Executive Officer with FBC Holding Incorporated. 
Well, I want to kind of take you, Frank, where you just led us. You talk about 2015 being a very interesting year, the way 2014 has set it up. And listeners, there's so much news to learn about this company. We're going to do follow-up interviews with Lee Valentine, with Darian Braun. We're going to have Frank on both of those. But what I want to leave them with now, Frank, is your outlook for 2015. What are some of your personal goals? Well, you know, right now we really want to capitalize, you know, on the efforts that we uh, built in 2014. Um, you can't build a good, strong company without a strong foundation. So we've been very, very diligent in making sure that we build a strong foundation. So, you know, with whether it's Lee Valentine, which what we're trying to do right now is really relaunch her and get her back out into the uh, into the masses through social media, through the website, et cetera, et cetera, hopefully leading back into one of the television home shopping networks, which hopefully we'll have conversations with as we move into 2015. Um, and with um, Coco Amo, you know, we've had great success so far. Uh, we've gotten a lot of interest uh, internationally uh, as well as in the U.S. itself. So we just want to keep building on that momentum. Um, and, you know, really try to build revenue. That's really, you know, our goal in 2015 is to build revenue for the company. That's something that it has not seen in many years, <laughs> and it's really a, a goal of ours to really, you know, launch, relaunch, and really take hold of the opportunities that we have coming with both the Lee Valentine Beauty brand and the Coco Ammo brand. Well, I'll say it again. It's a terrific time for us here at smallcapvoice.com to be speaking with Frank Russo today. That ticker symbol for the company, FBCD, the name of the company, FBC Holdings, FBC Holding, excuse me, Incorporated. And again, those websites, LeeValentine.com, FBCD-INC.com, Coco Amo. Doc, excuse me, coco-amo.com. And again, all you really need is that ticker symbol FBCD. Frank, we look forward to speaking with you again here in 2015 as the rubber really hits the road for you and your company. Great interview. Appreciate your time here today. Thanks, Frank. Thanks a lot, sir. Really appreciate it. You bet. For Frank Russo, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks so much for listening. Smallcapvoice.com, today's leader in investor relations, capital formation, and retail support provides its clients with the highest level of service. Our audio interviews are disseminated to one of the largest opt-in audiences available today. How? We at smallcapvoice.com believe in aligning and affiliating ourselves with other leaders within the investor relations community. By sharing resources, each affiliated firm is made that much stronger and each client is served that much better. Our focus is to identify and provide the very best financial services and solutions available to clients and their shareholders. For more information about our services, please call us at 512-267-2430 or visit us on the web at www.smallcapvoice.com.